Gandhi. Taking a stand in history. Mahatma Gandhi is a strong, unwavering figure whose eternal light illuminated the journey of mankind in their search for peace and selflessness while embodying the critique of government and the legal system. Gandhi led a non-violent, peaceful campaign for India's independence from Britain. Part of his campaign involved elimination of Great Britain's Salt Act on the Indian people. Gandhi's leadership influenced many supporters to stand up to the British government and lead other peaceful protests to achieve India's independence. Mohandas Gandhi was born on October 2, 1869 in Porbandar, India. He received his education at a university college in London and Smaldus College in Bhavnagar. He was born in Nurgan time when the Indian people were struggling to achieve independence from the British. Having been part of an administrative family, he witnessed many political events. Gandhi fought for most of his life for Indian people's rights. Being part of the Indian National Congress in 1930, Gandhi led a campaign to achieve Indian independence against British rule. However, at the time, the British were enforcing a salt act where the Indian people could only buy salt from British markets. Because of the British Salt Act, Gandhi wrote two letters to Lord Irwin, the Viceroy of Great Britain. The first letter, on March 12, 1930, requested India's independence from Britain. The second letter, May 4, 1930, requested the Salt Act to be eliminated or it would lead to a non-violent revolt of civil disobedience. The Viceroy, instead of agreeing, decided to say no to Gandhi's request. Due to this, Gandhi led a salt march of 78 followers, 241 miles to the Indian Ocean, to defy the British government and use salt water to make their own salt. Upon reaching the shoreline, Gandhi had gathered almost 12,000 supporters for the protest. After illegally defying the Salt Act, Gandhi and almost 6,000 others were forced to jail sentence for the crime. However, due to the support of the Salt March, it convinced the British to negotiate to give India their independence. After much debate, India was granted their independence in 1947. Gandhi was a tireless advocate for the Indian people who inspired many others to follow in his footsteps. Martin Luther King Jr. modeled his walks in support of the Civil Rights Movement and the abolishment of segregation after Gandhi's salt walk. Cesar Chavez and the migrant farm workers walked in unity, just as Gandhi had to empower Hispanic farm workers as a force to be reckoned with, rather than a forgotten minority to be exploited. Peace movements around the world have walked the difficult path that Gandhi traveled, bringing about the end of the Vietnam War, the dismantling of the Berlin Wall, the fall of Ferdinand Marcos' regime in the Philippines and the end of nuclear innocence. The Salt March was just one of the many events that Gandhi led and participated in to fight for the rights of society. Gandhi believed in religion, peace, and rights of mankind. Gandhi reminded followers to be patient with others, to do no harm, and to pursue truth with boundless passion, making him one of the most influential civil rights leaders of history. Gandhi demanded that man's political involvement and personal response be based on a spirituality so deep, a spiritual attunement so constant, a vision so broad that no personal ambition, no selfish gains, no religious or government interest corrupt the depth of man's commitment to the greater good. There is an indefinable, mysterious power that pervades everything. I feel it, though I do not see it. It is this unseen power which makes itself felt and yet defies all proof, because it is so unlike all that I perceive through my senses. It transcends the senses, but it is possible to reason out the existence of God to a limited extent. Those who follow Gandhi may, like him, never know the true depth 
of the impact of their successes on others. But like Gandhi, they will never really know defeat. Gandhi! Fitch and Marcy Hansen for their guidance throughout our project.